Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the battery icon is missing from your taskbar on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in local group policy, best match, or come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath user configuration, you want to go ahead and double click on the administrative templates folder. And then you want to select start menu and taskbar. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to select remove the battery meter. So you can see it says remove the battery meter right here. You can double click on that. You want to either select not configured or disabled. So that'll basically disable the remove battery meter option. And then you would select apply and OK. And you would need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. Something else you can try in here as well would be to open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. And then on the left side, we're going to select personalization. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down and select taskbar. And on the right side, underneath other system icons, go ahead and select that. And if you have a battery option in here or power, you would toggle that to the on position. And that's all you would have to do. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And you may also see it up here underneath taskbar items. Please keep in mind, I'm actually in a virtual machine. It's not a laptop. However, you would have an option for power somewhere in here or in the group policy editor. So pretty straightforward process. If it's in the little up arrow where it says show hidden icons, you may just have to drag and drop it over into the visible taskbar. So that's something else you may have to do down there, again, depending on your preference. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.